Kaido here, and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Vampires of Nightshade. So, it is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's, everyone! But these two sweeties are going to have a little bit of a date day, so it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to try to make the day as romantic as possible. And I'm pretty sure that Hayden really wants to ask out Persephone for them to become boyfriend and girlfriend. So we're definitely going to be trying to work towards that in this episode. Um, but if you guys saw the beginning of this video, you probably are wondering what does Mallory have in store for them? Well, she actually has to go to school, so that's a little bit awkward, but I'm sure she's going to be scheming away in her textbooks in her spare time at school, so I'm actually really excited to see what she does when she gets back. Um, so at least I give some time for the happy couple to have a little bit of a romantic day. So yeah. So guys, if you have realized, I actually did find a custom content which replaces kids' teeth with vampire fangs. So I'm not sure if you can see them, but they are really, really cute and well done. So if I can find that link for you guys, I'll pop it down below in the description because I just think it is so good. But yeah, she is definitely going to be plotting something while she is away at school. And meanwhile, Hayden and Persephone are going to have a little bit of a day together. It's going to be very cute. They're already having a meal. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, okay. Well, I really want Hayden to make Persephone a drink. And I also want to mention that our Persephone has been leveling up her vampire lore. So she is level 13, which is only two away from Max, which is so cool. So she has actually figured out a lot of ways to protect herself. She's going to go ahead and plant some garlic seeds today so then she can line her bedroom with garlic and that way she has a bit of a safe zone in the house so we're going to do that quickly now before her and Hayden continue on with their Valentine's Day. Well I don't think the boys would approve of her growing garlic so what we're going to do is actually have her plant it at the very back of the house so it's a little bit of a secret we might even cover it with some grass so just to kind of hide it a little bit more. Um, there we go. Hopefully the boys won't see it. It's hiding around the back there, so it should be okay. Alrighty, so we can go ahead and purchase garlic seeds. Let's purchase two. And then we will open those packets. And I wonder how many. Oh, we actually get two. That is perfect. Now we have four, so we'll be able to plant them in there. And I have no idea how to make the garlic braids, but we'll figure it out after they grow. So let's go ahead and plant all of those. And while she is doing that secret little thing, let's get Hayden to get ready for um, our Valentine's Day surprise. So I really want him to cook up a meal for Persephone. So let's check out his cooking skill. Oh, he's actually got five. So you know what? He might be able to do something quite decent. Oh, something is off in here. Something is definitely off. I don't, oh, okay. It's the garlic noodles. That's all right. We'll chuck them in the bin. There we go. What should we make for Persephone today? Cook gourmet meal? We can actually cook something cool. What do we think Persephone would like? Um... We could make her a cake. I think we should make a cake. Honestly, let's do it. We're going to do a black and white cake and see how that goes. No idea. Like, he's a vampire. I doubt he's cooked in a very long time. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see this happen. My gosh, I hope this is awesome. It better be good. 
I hope the quality is at least more than normal. How is Persephone going out here? Oh, she wants a drink? Are you kidding me, girl? We're going to get her to actually water them before she goes inside and then we'll get her to go to the loo. And then we might get her to wait for uh, Hayden over here in the dining room. Oh my gosh, no one has been cleaning. We really need somebody to uh, clean up the house. So we might hire a maid. Oh, okay, so Hayden has gone ahead and put the cake in the oven. I really want to see it come out. So let's go ahead and wait for a second. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so perfect. Yes, oh, he's going to put it on the table. Oh, it is so pretty. Okay, can we put decorations on it? Add wedding topper? Okay, we're not going to do that, but I think we're just gonna leave it. We don't wanna make it a birthday cake, so uh, I think it'll be just fine like that. And maybe we will make a drink for Persephone too. So make a drink for Persephone. Uh, let's see if she wants something. Oh, oh gosh, she's gonna walk in on her while she's on the toilet. Oh no, how is this gonna go down? What? He's just standing there while she's doing a turd. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and make a juice on the rocks. Girl, okay. Whoa, they just got their bill, $17,000. We'll get Louis to do that, but... Louie, you need to go to work. Okay, I need him to stop playing on the pipe organ. I know you love playing it, but you need to go and take care of the town. Okay, Mr. Mayor? Yeah, goodbye. Go and be a politician. Good boy. So let's get Persephone to go and pay for the bills. And okay, this drink is for Persephone. And let's make ourselves a drink. So make a drink. What should we have? Flaming zesty salt. That one sounds interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, okay. She's carrying her drink while she's paying the bills. That's one way to pay your bills, girl. Oh, Hayden. I love that he's trying to make it up to Persephone. Hopefully he can in this episode because she hasn't really been going through the best of times, but I'm kind of scared for when Mallory comes home because I know she has something in mind. Alrighty, so Persephone is finally back over here at the bar, so let's get him to kind of uh, try to seduce her a little bit. So let's do Confess Contraction. We're also going to get him to serenade her. Alright, let's see how this goes. So Persephone is genuinely smitten with Hayden. She isn't pretending to have feelings for him. I just want to make that clear to a lot of you guys. She does actually really adore him, but she is still a little bit suspicious of everybody else in the house. She really, really doesn't like what Louis did to her. So in the back of her mind, she is thinking about ways to protect herself. So we're hopefully going to see her character evolve a little bit in the next couple episodes. But with Kate out of the house and Mallory at school and also Louie at work, she is able to just kind of relax at the house with Hayden. So yay! Now that Hayden has gotten some juice in Persephone, we are going to Go ahead and play a song on the piano for her. So let's try to do this one. Serenade, Persephone. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Wait, what's happening? Devious legislating. Legislation? Legislating? Okay. Louis wants to have their name attached to a dramatic and inspiring piece of legislation. Two groups are currently working on legislation, but Louis only has time to work with one of them. So free pie or free robot birds. Uh, free pie. Yeah. The citizenry needs free pie and they needed it yesterday, says Louis, to uproarious applause. <laughs> oh gosh. All the representatives gather to carry Louis in triumph as the citizens will finally get their free pie. Okay, so he gained two supporters. Oh, 
that is so awesome. Let's have a look. Oh no, that isn't votes, it's supporters. Okay, so that's the difference. Alrighty, well, he's still a representative, so it's fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's getting really into it. Oh, okay. I think she's liking it though. Yay! Even though Persephone is thinking of ways to protect herself, I definitely think she is falling for Hayden, so let's see if he can woo her properly in this episode and maybe they can become something a little bit more serious. And there we go! Oh, how cute! Perfection! Okay, well we are going to Go ahead and give him, oh, is she going to smooch him? <gasps> she is too. Oh, she was doing exactly what I wanted her to do. Let's see. Where is he going? <laughs> He's getting a drink. Are you kidding me? She was going to kiss him and then he went and got a drink. That is so weird. What is happening? This is the most, Sims, Sims, what are you doing? <laughs> Where are they going? Okay, that was, that was weird, but okay, I'll forgive the game. <laughs> that was adorable, that was so sweet. Even though it took so long for that little kiss to happen. Oh, and now she's going to sleep. Oh, okay, she's really tired. Well, we're actually going to wake her up and get her to go and have some cake. Let's go ahead and take a piece and get her to sit down. They are both going to take a piece and eat. Hopefully she likes the cake because Hayden worked really hard on making it. I wish my boy made me cake on Valentine's Day. Oh gosh, stop showing your fangs, please. We're at the dinner table. Please, your manners, boy. Is it yummy? I love that they've just somehow eaten half of this cake. She just blew a kiss at him. Oh, it must be delicious. It must be. We're going to get him to do a bold pickup line. And I just realized that Mallory just got home and she is fuming. She's just about to go upstairs and bash up her toy. That poor vampire bat thingamajig. This giant teddy is just getting bashed every single episode. Look at it crying. Oh, we're going to protect the bat. And instead of her bashing up it, we're actually going to go ahead and play some mischief on these two lovebirds. So let's go ahead and do mean. Oh, should we do mischief? Uh, let's do give fake bad news. So maybe she could tell Hayden that something dreadful happened at school and just try to bring down his mood a little bit. I feel like Mallory is going to try her best to kind of ruin their mood. So let's go and see what we can do and cause some mayhem. Mallory is just really, really upset with how things are going. Uh, she really wants Kate to come back, so... We are definitely going to try our best to express her feelings in this episode. All right, well, share melancholy thoughts. It's a great start. And let's do mischief. Uh, actually, let's play a bad trick on Persephone. Let's go and invite her to a fake party <laughs> because I think that Persephone would believe anything. <laughs> oh, goodness. Poor Persephone, she's really gullible. Oh, she actually believed, she fell for it. She, where is she going? Okay, she's going to sleep. I thought she was going to go to the party. That would have been hilarious. Okay, Mallory, what are you doing? Persephone is here asleep. Are you going to wake her up? Just yell at her, just wake her up. Don't even let her fall asleep. Oh, she's like, oh, what? Wait, is it time for the party already, guys? Oh, oh gosh. We're going to just confront Persephone and tell her what's up, that she misses Kate and that Persephone could never replace Kate. Yell at her a little bit and then we are going to try to ruin the rest of this cake. So, uh, should we just chuck it out? I think we're just gonna chuck it out. I didn't realize this, guys, but we can actually look for discarded toys. I didn't know that. That is so interesting. Oh my gosh. 
Uh, but we are going to actually open this and we're going to put this food outside, make it go off, and we're going to spoil all of the bedrooms and just put rotten food everywhere to make the other sims be like really angry because something's off in the room. Okay, we're going to put this inside now. We're gonna grab a whole bunch of servings and to like separate it all up. So it looks like Persephone is upstairs already asleep. So Hayden is going to try his best, even though Mallory has gone ahead and yelled at him and provoked him a little bit. He wants to try to organize a little bit of a private dance session down here. So what he's going to do is decorate this whole area with flowers and roses and really get it looking romantic. And then they're going to have a little bit of fun. So Louis has gone ahead and outdone himself. He's even retiled the dance floor for this occasion and bought so many of these roses and candles all ready for Persephone and him to have their own little private dance. So this is gonna be so cute, I can't wait. He's feeling super inspired right now and he's also smooth sipping, whatever that means. So he's feeling pretty good today. Oh my gosh, what is Mallory doing? It looks like she's putting on wall paint getting ready to just torment the couple uh, but it also looks like she is eating the rotten food what girl what are you doing i don't even understand right now but we gotta we gotta stop this craziness okay what we're going to try to do is put this off food around the place and we're just going to say that she tried to hide it and tried to ruin this atmosphere that uh, Hayden's been trying so desperately to put together because he really wants to impress Persephone and make her feel like she's actually wanted at this home. Oh man, these ones are off too. I reckon she would go ahead and hide this in Persephone's room. Let's just go ahead and put it right under her little table there so maybe no one will find it but it will probably bother the sims quite a lot okay we are going to gently wake up persephone this is going to be the second time she gets woken up in this episode but i think she's going to enjoy the reason why <laughs> have they noticed the off food yet no yes <laughs> i don't know let's go ahead kiss her hands <laughs> yep they smell it Oh man, uh, talk about best bait. I don't know why they would want to do that. Woohoo in coffin. <gasps> Maybe we can try to do that today. I'm not sure though. Here we go. Share a secret. See how she reacts. I hope she's excited. Oh, oh, she's a little bit suspicious. It's going to be great. She's like, oh, I don't know. I've never been surprised before, but oh, you are going to like it, girl. Let's get them to both run down here real quick. And oh man, she's really flirty right now. So she wants to level up her charisma skill. Woohoo in a bush and chat with Morgana. Okay, but <laughs> that's random. These are sort of boring. You know what? We're going to... Go ahead and get rid of these and go for some new ones. So here we go. Woohoo with Persephone. That's definitely going to be his like, what he wants to try to go after this episode, I guess. I'm not going to get rid of the woohoo one yet. Oh, kiss somebody. Definitely. We'll get rid of that one. Um, okay, so we got kiss Hayden. Uh, let's pin that one and let's also pin Ruhu with Persephone. So, oh man, let's see if he can get it going. So now that they are both here, let's go ahead and give her a hug. Oh, they are smelling the bad food. <laughs> Mallory's plan actually kind of works. So let's also offer a rose and do a couple um, other things. So what else can we do? Uh, compared to long lost love. Oh, how sweet. Oh, they are so cute. I can't. Let's do it, guys. Let's go and get them to have a bit of a dance off. Dance battle with Persephone. Let's see how this goes. We're going to put the volume up high. 
And this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Let's see how they go. See who's going to win the dance battle. Oh, gosh. I was not expecting. What? What are these? Are these like glow sticks? I, I don't even understand. <laughs> so, guys, I actually tweeted the other day. Oh, great, Hayden. Just great. <laughs> Best Valentine's Day surprise ever. Oh, my gosh. Persephone bringing out the glow sticks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, my gosh. She just broke her back. <laughs> oh. Okay, so the other day I did tweet that I really would have liked it if we had slow dance in The Sims 4. I think that would be really nice. We don't really have any like romantic ballroom sort of dancing in The Sims 4 yet, unfortunately. But from the looks of it, these two had a lot of fun just doing their own thing on the dance floor. And I'm so glad that Persephone has cheered up and she's really enjoyed this atmosphere that Hayden has created. Yay! I think you should go ahead and give her a big passionate kiss. And then let's go and ask the big question if she wants to be his girlfriend. I wonder if he... <gasps> oh my gosh, she said yes! Oh, yay! I'm so glad that they were able to finally date. Oh man, Mallory's plan didn't really work out against them. Even with all of the rotten food and yelling. But I have a feeling that her plans are not totally complete yet. Maybe the rotten food was just the beginning. But we'll just have to wait and see anyways. So we do have some whims that we want to work on this episode. We want them to, of course, kiss, which they're probably going to do on their own. And then we want to try to get them to woohoo. So Hayden has successfully gotten Persephone to go ahead and date him. So he kind of wants to move on to second base in the first night. But it is Valentine's Day, so I guess it is fine if they do move along that quickly. I know I did change my mind, but... They both seem to want it, so we're going to go ahead and make it happen. Alrighty guys, so we have all of these lovely options here. Uh, I think we should not try for baby. I don't know why that is there, but let's go and do woohoo and coffin. Alrighty then. See what Persephone thinks of that. She's like, oh, I'm digging it. I'm definitely digging it. I wonder which coffin they're going to choose. It would be so unfortunate if they end up going into Kate's bedroom. Oh my gosh, that would be horrible. I hope they don't do that. No, no, no. Are they going to? <gasps> Guys, what? Oh my gosh, the shade. Are you kidding me? Hayden, Persephone, I am disappointed. I am actually so disappointed. Come on, for reals though. Wow, they're doing the dirty in Kate's room. Wow, Hayden. Wow, Persephone. I am so disappointed right now. Okay, we didn't accidentally do try for baby. I hope we didn't because that would be devastating. We do not want any more vampire babies around the place, okay? We don't want any more. I just love this whole animation, especially when it spins like that is so funny. And the bats! They're so cool! Oh, hi guys! Still clothed, I see. Thank you for uh, putting back on your clothes before you went out of there. Would have scared me a little bit if you popped out all naked. Well, now they both finished their whims. Uh, level up charisma, she still wants to do. Oh, she wants to kiss him. Uh, is that what she's gonna do now? Serenade. Oh, isn't she cute? Oh, they're going to, what? I don't understand. Why don't you stand over there? Why are you guys serenading through a uh, divider? That's really odd of you guys. And he's going to go and have a shower. Uh, guys, I am more and more disliking the free of will or whatever it's called, autonomy in The Sims 4. I just feel like they keep doing random things and it's really bothering me. So I'm going to have to turn that off and I know that might make the gameplay a little bit worse, but they honestly keep doing weird things. 
Let's just do a normal little peck on the cheek. And then we're going to get him to, well, it's not on the cheek, is it? And then let's get him to actually ask for a drink. Ask permission to drink. Because he does have the uh, bad trait, bad vampire trait, that it ha he does have to ask for permission or he will feel guilty. So, let's see. Oh? Oh? No! <gasps> She's still not with it. She does not like the idea of anyone drinking from her neck. Okay. Even her boyfriend. All right. Prude much. But I guess that's how it's going to be. Persephone just doesn't like it. But I think after that abrupt question, Persephone has come back to reality and realized that she just became a girlfriend to a vampire. Like, she's... She's a little bit worried. So you know what? She's going to go ahead and go to bed by herself. She's going to confess her fear of vampires. She definitely wants some time to herself to think. So let's get her to go ahead and sleep. And then we're going to get Hayden, who thinks that he's like the best guy ever right now. Like he reckons he just set up the most romantic Valentine's Day ever, even with Mallory trying to fool him. Uh, he's going to stand over here and dance by himself because why not? But guys, the end of this episode isn't going to be ending as chubby as Hayden would have liked. Mallory is actually just about to wake up. She has realized that the two have separated. Oh, she's like, yes, I am ready, guys. So ready. Mallory has a plan indeed. Well, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic Valentine's Day. Even if you are spending it alone, just know that I am sending my love out to you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this fun little Valentine's Day special of The Vampires of Nightshade. Keep watching to find out more about Mallory's plan. And I'll catch you all next time. Love you all to bits. Bye!